case uh, anyone here is new. So you can go to the next slide, Tina. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So HCSF, also known as Healthcare Administration Student Forum, is an organization that allows for students to learn beyond the classroom and network with other students, faculty, alumni, and healthcare professionals. We also encourage engagement and community outreach, and we're committed to the professional and personal growth of our members. Did you forget? Mm -hmm. Or were you, did you forget about that meeting? It's seven. It's seven of seven of five. Yeah, Scott, your uh, mic's not on. Okay, so sorry about that. So for Upsilon Phi Delta, we are an honor society and are focused on elevating the standards, ideals, competence, and ethics of professionally educated individuals in healthcare management and policy. UPD recognizes students who have made outstanding contributions to the profession, and we are accredited through the Association of University Programs in Healthcare Administration. So a little bit more of what we do. So we focus on networking and community. So um, during these meetings, you guys will be put out in breakout rooms just so you guys can get to know each other and make friends. And then I, we also do events. So we do a lot of workshops and guest speaking events so you guys can get to learn more about different healthcare topics and careers. And we also work really closely with HCAN, which is the Healthcare Administration Alumni Network. So there you get to attend their events and they recently just had like an Excel workshop last week. So you're able to connect with alumni and also um, gain more skills that way. And then we also like to focus on professional development. So beginning your journey as a healthcare professional by learning more skills and learning more about the healthcare field. Okay, so now we're gonna introduce ourselves so you guys can get to know a little bit more about us. So my name is Brenda and I'm the president of HCSF and I'm in my fourth year as an HCA major uh, a little bit more about me is that I volunteered at a hospice throughout the pandemic and I'll be working at a startup this as a marketing intern this semester so I'm excited for that and a fun fact about me is I'm trying to learn how to do acrylics at home so I can save myself some money. <laughs> Hello everyone, um, uh, my name is Jose. I'm the vice president for uh, both HCASF and UPD. Um, this is my last semester. Um, I'm majoring in, a, in, a, in a healthcare administration and I'm a minor in finance. And this semester I'm entering in Altamed um, in their health, oral health unit. So that should be fun. And I love being out in nature and riding my bike in the city. Juliana couldn't make it tonight, but she's the secretary of HCSF, and she's also in her last year as an HCA major. She works in marketing and sales at a healthcare reimbursement advocacy firm. She loves boba, and she enjoys working out and rock climbing at the SRWC. Hi, guys. My name is Jennifer. Um, I'm the membership coordinator. Um, I'm actually a first year grad student. I'm getting my degree in healthcare administration. Um, I manage a <clears throat> ear, nose and throat practice with 11 doctors and 86 staff. Um, I got my bachelor's in healthcare management and soul cycle is my de-stress. Hi everyone, my name is Kayla Williams and I am the student liaison. And I am also a fourth year student um, some things about me, um, while school was closed, I moved to Las Vegas and I'm actually doing an internship for uh, SCAN Health Plan as an IT release management intern. And I like reading, hiking, and um, working with my dogs. Hi everyone. Um, my name is Eric. I'm a third year ACA major with the information systems minor. I'm a plant dad with over 25 plants. Although it's winter, so, well, it was winter, so, you know, you know what happens. 
Um, I have 13 tattoos and I work at the SRWC, um, stop by and work out. And I also work at the community clinic for counseling and educational services where I am right now. My name is Tina Vittel and I'm the president for UPD. I'm majoring in healthcare administration and minoring in chemistry. Currently, I am a digital strategy operations intern at Scan Health Plan. I love to cook and I am graduating this spring. And then our secretary for UPD is Isabel, who unfortunately couldn't make it tonight, but she is a double business major in HR and management with an HCA certificate. She is a marketing and external relations intern at Community Hospital Long Beach Foundation. She loves Disney, has been to Disneyland, Disney World, and Disney Paris. And then our membership coordinator for UPD, Mira, who also couldn't make it, but she is a patient experience intern at UCI Health. She is also a huge Disney fan and a Dodgers fan. In her spare time, she likes to travel and play online video games. Okay, so now we're gonna get into the activity of the night. So we're gonna be putting everyone in breakout rooms in just a moment. So, hold on. So Tina will be putting everyone in breakout rooms. Uh, what we'll be doing is just discuss with each other for about like five minutes. So it'll be really quick and just discuss like what are your new year's resolutions, goals or plans for the year. And afterwards we'll be asking at least two people to share um, what they talked about. So I'll create them now. Brenda, I'm going to check out because I have another meeting. Ah, oh, Eric left. <laughs> Eric left that he's so big. <laughs> well. <clears throat> Is that everyone, Tina? Yeah, I think everyone okay. should be back now. Okay, so now we're gonna ask two of you guys to share. So if anyone wants to volunteer, go ahead. But if no one shares, I'm gonna have to pick on someone. <laughs> I can share. Okay, thank you. <laughs> um, hi, my name is Kristen. I'm a fourth year, well, technically a fourth year at um, Cal State Long Beach. I'm an HCA student. Um, one of my um, goals, I guess, for, for me was to like get past my onboarding process just because um, for Kaiser Permanente, it was really long for me to um, get my internship um, going. So I finally started. So that was like something I was really proud of and I think just like going along with that I think something I want to take from that is really to like put myself out there and really take advantage of this internship and like really get to know people make connections and learn more about like what it is that interests me so I think that's one of my uh, main goals for the year. Thank you for sharing Kristen and congratulations on your internship. Best of luck. Thank you. Yeah, that onboarding process is like really, like it gets to you. I'm still kind of going through that right now. Yeah. So, um, yeah. I, hard process. I was onboarding um, 
actually last semester so I finally got approved like early January so it took me a, took me a long time yeah I heard with Kaiser it's a long process too yeah they just ask for a lot of documents and they don't tell you what documents they need so yeah, yeah well thank you for sharing so we'll ask one more person anyone want to be the next one Okay, I'll pick someone. Uh, okay. I'll pick, hmm, Tina, you should help me pick. I, I feel mean doing this. You want to volunteer? Brenda, it's all you. I can't see them. Okay, okay. <laughs> I'll, okay. Hmm. Okay, I'll pick Daisy if she can. If she's here right now. Am I the only Daisy? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, well, my name is Daisy. I am a senior. This is my last semester. I'm majoring in healthcare administration. Um, my New Year resolution was to. Coming May, I want to start applying for new jobs because I currently work at a skilled nursing. Um, I've moved up from a CNA to an activity assistant to receptionist, and now I run the admissions department. So I've had a lot of experience in skilled nursing, but I've been there for so many years now, I feel like it's time to move on. So that's my biggest resolution is like once I get my degree and graduate is to actually like bite the bullet and like leave <laughs> and not in bad terms and in a bad way, but it's it's my next step. I need I need to start moving on doing now. environment and stuff. That's nice. Best of luck. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Thank you guys for sharing. Um, so now we're going to move on to our announcements. We have quite a bit. So first we'll go over our dues. So for HDSF, it's $10 per semester or $20 for the whole year. And there, there's no GPA requirement, but we do require for you guys to attend at least three events to man, maintain an active membership. And once you graduate, you'll receive a graduation stole. And then for UPD, our membership is $10 per semester or a $20 lifetime membership. And then we do have a GPA requirement of 3.25 because we are an honor society and accredited by a UPHA. And then for graduation, there's the option of a graduation stole or a graduation package, which we will have more information in the coming weeks. And then, sorry, I got confused, but the graduation sashes and cords. So we are working to get those out for you guys. And we would really like if you could fill out the poll as soon as you can so that we know if you're interested in getting either an HCASF sash, a UPD cord, or both of those. And I think there's also a UPD tassel maybe. So we'll have to keep an eye on that. And then, so once we receive your input and the number of sashes and cords that we need to get, and once we get those, we will have a day or two where we can meet up on campus so that you guys can come pick it up in person or we'll ship them out to you guys if a student like does not live close to Long Beach to pick it up. We're hoping to receive the sashes and cords as soon as we can so that everyone can get their graduation gear on time and have enough time to take pictures with and we will put out more information as the semester progresses. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, so the HCA department holds a advisory board speaker series. So what that is, so guest speakers come and talk about different topics in healthcare, but now we are allowing you guys to attend these uh, events so you guys can get attendance credit in case you guys miss any of our meetings since uh, these events do occur on um, different days of the week. So um, in order to receive credit, you have to fill out their sign-in sheet that they'll provide um, over Zoom. And then we'll get that sign-in sheet and check who attended and give you guys credit for participating. And the first um, guest speaker series is happening next week on Thursday, February 24th from 5 p.m. to 6.30 p.m. And there's three different 
guest speakers uh, speaking about different career opportunities in healthcare. And I believe they already sent out um, like reminders and emails on Beachboard. So um, if you guys check the HCA student page, I think it's under there, but we do have a, um, a link where you guys can, hold on, let me get it. A link where you guys can register for the uh, guest speaker series in case you guys wanna go to that if you know you're gonna miss a meeting. So we will be putting out more announcements. I think Jose just put it in the chat actually. So if you, if you guys wanna sign in for that, you guys can do that. And we'll also like keep you guys updated for any future events that they have. And yeah. We also have open positions in our board. So our past two board members who were treasurers for both HCSF and for UPD graduated in the past fall. So we are in need of two new treasurers for both of our organizations. And it's really important that we have these two positions filled as they are required for our organizations to run. So if you're interested, this is a great way to uh, increase your leadership positions and skills and everything like that. So if you would like to fill out the poll in the Zoom chat or reach out to HCSF or UPD on Instagram or Gmail directly, if you're interested, just, um, just go ahead. And we do have some upcoming events. So next week we have a LinkedIn workshop going on on Wednesday, February 23rd at 7 p.m. And we are thinking about having another general meeting in March. We are still like figuring out the dates, but it's either March 10th or March 17th. And in case it's like not on those two days, we'll keep you guys updated. And then for social media, so to stay informed about what we're what meetings we're gonna have going on and everything else about graduation as well. You can follow us on Instagram or you can check out our link tree, which has all of our important links that are linked on it as well. And then lastly, we have a Discord channel. So it's a really good place to connect with each other, especially since everything is still kind of all over the place right now. So, um, there we're excuse me there we'll send out a bunch of like updates about our events and you guys can also just talk about whatever like classes or homework and yeah it's just like a good way to connect with each other and i believe we also have a link yeah there's a link in the zoom chat so you guys can join through there but yeah that's pretty much the end of the meeting if anyone has any questions uh feel free to ask um, i think i saw a question about them do so um if anyone has any questions you guys can stay if not uh, make sure to sign in and we'll see you guys next time thank you for coming out tonight you guys thank you guys okay Daisy, I saw your question <laughs> or I saw your